All right, guys, I want to give you an update on the video I made on Monday talking about the, the concerns I had for the channel this week. And as I briefly mentioned in the start of the segment yesterday, that stuff was going a lot better than I thought. But now I'm going to tell you what actually happened. So you got you got like five seconds to make your final guesses. All right. Five, four, three. OK, we're just going to skip to one. The answer is a certain letter that legal adults in the US may receive uh, apparently random selection or something. And it's jury duty, guys. It's jury duty. And the great news is, as mentioned, I actually got out of it. So in this video, if you're a U.S. citizen, you really might want to watch because, well, let me disclaim what I did might not work for you. I don't know. Uh, but this is what I did. Make of it what you will. And I'm also going to explain to you the process really, really briefly. I know this is like way off the scope of the channel, so I'm not going to stick on this too long. But like I mentioned, just because I just went through this, uh, you might find value in this because if you haven't experienced this yourself, you very well may at some point in your life. So it actually all started back in January of 2022 when I got the initial letter. It's like, congratulations, you're selected for jury duty. You now got to be at court in a month and it may take a week of your time, maybe more, maybe a little less. And uh, so I was instantly concerned for the channel because obviously, as you guys know, I do daily uploads here and taking any time off is really, really bad for the channel. It hurts you in the algorithm and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I have no idea how long I would have had to have taken off. Uh, they, they, they say you got to potentially take off the whole week uh, if you get selected. And then when I did the orientation, they linked me to a YouTube video they made, an unlisted one from the court. And the court said that the, the, the court that I was supposed to serve at, th this jurisdiction, is going to take about a week and a half to two weeks on average. I'm like, oh, my channel is going to be dead at that point. <laughs> you know, a little hyperbolic, but that is really, really bad. Plus... I don't get paid for the time off. That's like a week or two lost income. That is a ton of income to be losing, man. Half the month. So I weighed my options, right? I was looking online. I'm like, how do you get out of jury duty, et cetera, et cetera. Probably the thing that anybody does when they get this sort of letter. And, uh, you know, there's some suggestions that some people have on certain social media being like, ignore the summons. Uh, I think that's uh, a, a, not a good decision. It's illegal. And to my understanding, if you ignore the summons, there's a chance that you're going to get a, a second summons after if you ignore the first one that's more threatening. And then if you ignore that one, there's a very likely chance that the judge, the judge, excuse me, the judge, the judge will issue a bench warrant for you for contempt of court. And uh, then if you get it, like, there's not going to be like an officer showing up at your door arresting you. But let's say you get pulled over for a speeding ticket one day. They run your information and they find out that you have a bench warrant. Oh, congratulations. That speeding ticket just turned to you going to jail. And now you might be there for X number of days until the judge sees you. So I wasn't about to potentially deal with all that. Some people say that they've never actually had the bench warrant issued. Uh, I, I guess maybe some people get lucky. Maybe some people don't. But I wasn't about to like live my life with that stress either. I'm like, bro, the last thing I need to do is worry uh, that I have a bench warrant. Like, you know, no thanks. So I did sign up. I did do the legal measures. But in doing the legal measures, there was actually um, two options I had after the online orientation, which is very easy, by the way. And that is to postpone, to postpone or reschedule. And I actually postponed it for six months. And then they let me postpone it another six months. And that's how we ended up with this uh, time frame that we're now at. Unfortunately, they would not let me postpone it any further. And it was starting to get down to the wire at that point. You know, it was like services coming up. I can't postpone it. However, they did give me an option to write the court. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to write the court and see how it goes. And so I was very brief and very polite. I didn't say I'm a YouTuber or anything like that. That's really obnoxious. And I don't think the judge uh, would, would like something like that. And I never actually heard back from the court anyways. I don't know if they actually got my letter, if they ever read it, if, if it mattered at all to them. I did end up getting released from service though. So I'll explain that part. And that's pretty much the end of it. So they give you your service week being like, you will have to serve potentially between Monday and Friday. Like expect this to be your service week. And they tell you to check in the Friday before that week after 7 p.m. to see if you have to go in that following Monday morning. And so I checked the portal at Friday and it said I don't have to go in on Monday. So that was awesome. And then it was like that every single day. Every day I had to check in at 7 p.m. at night to see if I had to go in the next day. So part of the reason why I was so vague about all of this is because I just didn't even know if I was going to have to go in or not. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up and don't take this the wrong way. This is not me pushing my beliefs onto you. I'm just telling you factually what I did and what happened. Every day throughout all this, I was praying to God, please get me out of jury duty, praying before I was going to the portal as well. And well, every night I logged in, it said I didn't have to go the next day. And Thursday night, last night, the final night to check in for Friday, the final service day, it said you don't have to go in. Furthermore, congratulations, you completed your jury service. So I didn't ignore my summons. 
I responded to the summons. I did postpone it twice and I did write the court. However, I never had to go in. Now there's a final caveat real quick. If you do have to go in, if they do say that you have to show up to court, it's still, you, you potentially might end up getting released from service because that day they're going to have, to my understanding at least, lawyers interviewing the potential jurors and some of them will be selected to go forward on trial and other ones will be released from service. But that's still like at least one day that um, people potentially have to go in even if they do end up getting released. So I, I, I was fortunate enough to not even have to go in for that. I didn't have to go in at all. And dude, I'm so glad for obvious reasons. Also, just because this week was crazy, man. All this VTuber stuff going on. I can't imagine how stressed I would have been if I would have seen peak of me graduating and all this nonsense, like people lying about stuff going on, et cetera, et cetera. And I couldn't do anything about it because I was at court. I, I like, I would, oh my gosh, I could just imagine I'd be sitting in that room, like waiting for the, 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 the court to like talk to us. And like, they just make you wait around for hours to my understanding a lot of the time. I would have been in that room, like on my phone, just seeing all this stuff going down, being like, dude, I need to, I should be talking about this right now. I should be doing my segments. And here I am like literally just wasting time sitting in this room. Oh, that would have sucked so much. Now, I mentioned part of the reason why I was so vague about all of this, because I literally just didn't know day to day, like if I had to go in the next day, we already went over that part. There's a little more to it though. There's some real crazy people out there. Um, there, you know, there's things like swattings that have occurred before. Um, and I do have some crazy aunties out there. I didn't want to give too much personal information away and potentially have some complete nutcase calling up courts in Southern California. Obviously, even if I was a bit more transparent, uh, I wouldn't have told you the exact court and everything, but I still didn't even want to say that much because some lunatic could just call up every court in SoCal or something and be like, hey, if you see a blue haired guy in there, uh, he's got a, you know, these, I'm not, I don't want to repeat it, but obviously make some sort of threat that would, you know, just, just some complete insane thing, right? To try and get me in trouble. Uh, it, it would obviously get them in trouble, but it would still, it would still be a problem. So that's why I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to say what specifically was going on because some nutcase out there could really do something awful. Side note, look how delicious these donuts and stuff look in this game, man. This game is so freaking detailed and really impressive, actually. As I've mentioned before, I worked at a restaurant for many, many years, worked as a busboy, backwaiter, takeout host, server. And this point of service system they have on the computer here in the, in this game, in this random little room is is very accurate like this looks like a very legit point of service system this is the point of service system is the sort of thing that a lot of servers will use when they're putting in like your order and stuff they'll go to the back and they'll, they'll use something that looks just like that but yeah that side note aside now about uh food <laughs> thank you guys for your patience uh sorry to worry some of you on monday about that video about the channel the concerns and all that again it worked out really well thank god man it all worked out super well and we're going to be talking about peak meat once again coming right up in the next segment on this channel today there is some major damage control going on from people that i think know that what they're saying is not exactly true to the situation for example some journalists out there who coincidentally lack any journalistic integrity but yeah we'll be talking about that some more coming right up so as always thank you for your time i'll see you in the comments of this segment as well as in the next one